Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we got some more cards back from SGC. If you watched my most recent video, you saw some of my 2023 Topps Chrome cards that I had submitted and just got returned. In that submission, um, I actually sent in another batch that were not from Topps Chrome, so I had to pull, excuse me, pay the full price um, for getting these cards graded. But I've been working on the Bobby Witt Jr. Rainbow from Series 1. And I think I'm about as close as I can get. So one more time, shout out to SGC. I don't have like an affiliation or a sponsorship with them. They don't even know who I am, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but very, very quick turnaround. Probably um, within, what, a week and a half. These made it all the way to Florida and back. Very smooth process. I would highly recommend uh, using them if you like getting your cards graded quickly and um, getting them returned back to you in a very, very timely manner. So anyway, these are some Bobby Witt Jr. cards that I've been slowly adding to my uh, collection for Series 1 from this year. And then at the end of this, this video, because there's only like five in this submission, I will show you the rainbow, which I think I have as complete as I can make it at this time. So first one, we have the Bobby Witt Jr. Black Parallel. Black is a um, hobby only. In fact, it might only be Jumbo. Um, boxes of hobby only. This one is card number 69 out of 92. Right there, and that one was graded a 9. I had already, I'd sent in a previous card uh, of a black parallel to get graded. I can't remember what it is. We'll show it later in the video. Uh, but I saw that one on eBay, and it was a nice price, so I picked that one up. And to get a 9 is nice. Those black parallels are hard to get 10 just because any type of little chipping or ding on the edges and corners uh, is so extremely visible whenever it's a black parallel. This is numbered out of 50. I believe this is the Father's Day Blue. Pick this one up off of eBay, and boom goes the dynamite, right? 10, card number 41 out of 50, the Father's Day Powder Blue Parallel, Bobby Wood Jr. Um, that one is so cool. That might be my, my favorite one out of the five that I sent in. Another one, this one is numbered out of 2023, so this is just the gold parallel. And I'll show you in a minute why I graded this one. Um, and this one is a 9.5. There's a little tiny whitening of the top left-hand corner and the top right-hand corner. So I think 9.5 is extremely fair. Um, I didn't really have any, um, any arguments with any of these cards in this submission. I thought they did an extremely fair job, an accurate job of grading the cards. This one is numbered out of 499. I believe this is the green parallel, um, the green foil board. And this one is a gem mint 10, card number 399 out of 499. I believe this was another eBay purchase. I don't think I pulled any of these cards, if I'm being really honest with people. I believe all of these were off of eBay. Some of these I've been sitting on for a while and finally sent them in when I sent in my Topps Chrome cards since they were running the $9 promotion. And then this one, card number 25 out of 76, is the Independence Day kind of stars and stripes. I guess just stars. There's really not stripes on it. Also, Jim Mint 10, Independence Day, 25 out of 76. This was another eBay purchase. Uh, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Um, but 10 on that, absolutely impressive. It's either this or the Powder Blue Father's Day that are my favorite in this submission. So there you have it, guys, for the cards that I have submitted in this round. Now, if you want an update, how is my Bobby Witt Jr. rainbow going? I don't even know if I can fit all these on the screen right now. I might have to pick up my camera. Okay, let me kind of put these off to the side here. Here is the current status, I think, as I try to drop them as I bring them on camera. I think I may have the rainbow about as complete as I can. All right, let's start. I'm just gonna set them right here. We'll go pretty quickly, right? I don't want to make this video too incredibly long. How is my rainbow going? We have the base card graded to 10. So we have the base. I'm going to make a little line up there and then I'll zoom back out when this video is done. The rainbow foil, this is one that was in my original submission. That's an 8. That's the lowest graded card that I have. I'm going to try to get an upgraded version of that. We have the gold foil, which is the hobby only release 9.5. So we have the rainbow foil, we have the gold foil, we have the royal blue. That's the retail Walmart version, right? 9.5, we have the purple, which is exclusive to Meyer. 
there's not any Myers in my area. This is always a card that's hard to get in a tin just because it's loosely inserted into um, those blister packs. Here is the other gold parallel, graded a nine. Let me pull the one back that I just showed a second ago. Here's why I got it graded. I've bought both of these off of eBay and look at the numbers. Whoops. We've got card number 2020 and card number 2021. So I have, I just thought that was really cool. Two successive um, cards off the print line there, 2020 and then 2021 out of 2023. So one graded 9.5, one graded a nine. This is the one that actually just got graded recently. So I upgraded from a nine to a 9.5. That was cool. I'm gonna put that one on, eh, I'll just put that one right there. Okay, this one fell off. This is from PSA though, purchased this off of eBay. The silver foil board that was in the um, collector's boxes, those big like jumbo boxes that they uh, released. Pulled that one off of eBay for Jim Mint 10. And then this one just came in the mail today, the collector's box. Remember, if you bought one of those jumbo collector's boxes, there was always one loose card uh, in the back. And this is an eight. I paid like five bucks for this card, I think, uh, plus shipping. Um, and so to get the collector's box version, it even says collector's box on the back instead of series one. Um, that one is graded as an eight, which is a little low grade, but that's okay. It's not that fancy of a card. Here's the other green foil board that I had. The one that I just showed you is another upgrade. So I upgraded from a 9.5 to a 10 in this submission. 9.5, so now we have two green foil boards. The orange foil board was a 10. The red foil board was a 10, so I have all three foil boards in 10. That is gonna be really cool. Here's the other black parallel I had, 9.5. So I have card number 69, which is a nine, and then card number eight, which is a 9.5. Almost the jersey number, but it's not. I'm running out of room <laughs> as I get to off camera. What have I what have I missed? Advanced stats. Jim Mint 10, PSA. See the advanced stats on the back, numbered out of 300. Vintage stock with the vintage stock, the old school top slow nine off of PSA. Numbered out of 99, 44 out of 99. I've been working the grind here on, on eBay trying to pick a lot of these up. The Mother's Day hot pink from PSA in a nine. That one's numbered out of 50, four out of 50. And then one that I picked up off of eBay. Um, the most expensive one that I picked up. And I don't know if, even know if it was $100. I think it was actually less than that. Uh, the Memorial Day camo, 21 out of 25 in a 10. I picked that up off of eBay. And like I said, I don't think I paid $100. I think it was a best offer that was accepted. Um, so if I include the cards that I just added. Let me put the other gold back on top. I also remember I have the Independence Day. That's out at 76. And then we have our other black parallel. And we have the Father's Day blue and then the other green. So I think this is almost all of the rainbow. If I stand up here, we have the base, rainbow, gold foil, blue, purple, Gold out of 2023, silver foil board, collector's box, green, orange, red foil board, black out of 72, vintage stock, advanced stats, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, Memorial Day. I don't think I'm probably ever going to get the Super Fractor, one out of one, or the clear acetate, 10 out of 10. I've also picked up these. <laughs> did you all know they did like a Topps first edition? The gold foil in a nine. I guess I don't have the base card of this. The red foil, which is out of 50, and a 9.5. The green foil, which is out of 150, and a 9 PSA. Um, there's some other parallels of the first edition that I don't have. There's a orange, and there's a black, and I should have purchased a black a while back, and I let it go like an idiot. So those are gonna be a lot tougher to find just because there's a lot less of those cards in circulation. And then some of the inserts, you've seen these in my original submission, the 88 design from series one, the uh, Mojo pack or silver pack one um, from series one, the Topps Chrome, Stars of the MLB. I guess I don't have just the regular Stars of the MLB graded. Maybe I can look for that one next. Major League Material from Series 1. He also has a Major League Material in Series 2. Maybe I'll look pick up that one. And then the City Connect commemorative patch from the um, hobby boxes as well. So 
there you have it guys my bobby witt junior rainbow let me know your thoughts let me know what i should go for next the clear out of 10 and the acetate or excuse me acetate out of 10 and the refractor or excuse me superfractor one out of one probably will never happen but the bobby witt junior rainbow is almost complete and probably as good as i'm gonna get unless there's one that i'm completely missing so thank you so much for watching some guys we're at the 10 minute mark i'm gonna wrap it up bobby witt jr 2023 series one almost completed all right thanks for watching this one guys let's keep cheering on bobby witt jr and i'll see you in another video